I'm the timekeeper. My name is Danny. Um, I'm doing this like straight off of the head because I was gone all last week. Um, this is a stupid question because we live in Florida, but who here has experienced hurricanes before? Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you guys have experienced hurricanes. Who have lost things during that hurricane, or you know, have that hurricane affected you in a bad way? Okay. Well, I'm from Jersey. I'm a city boy. I'm, I've never experienced a hurricane since my time down here. I've experienced one, and it was just pretty much heavy rain. But my reason for being gone last week was I got the chance to go on a relief mission to go to New Orleans and uh, you know help out over there. I work for Winn Dixie. I'm a supervisor. I take care of the cash office and everything. And um, they asked me to go over there with a bunch of other. You know, people from Florida that work for Wind Dixies and help out the stores and everything that got affected by the hurricane. When I think about all the stuff that's happened to New Orleans, you know, Katrina and all that, you know, back when it happened, I was like, oh, you know, that's bad. I didn't really think of it in depth, you know. Going over there, as soon as we hit the bridge to cross, you know, to actually reach New Orleans, the bridge next to us looked like it was actually floating on top of the water, like, the water was so high, there was palm trees every, everywhere, like, roofs were off the of houses. Like, I didn't, seeing it made me, like, open my eyes, like, wow. I didn't realize, you know, how bad it really was. Um, once again, because, you know, I'm a city boy, I'm not used to all that, I'm used to blizzards. But, um, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we went over there, and uh, I stood over there for a week, waking up early in the freaking morning. <laughs> Working about 12 hour days, you know, getting their stores back to even the stores, you know, were affected big time. There was like the when Dick the actual Win Dixie signs were like ripped off and, and this was only a category one. So the whole time I was working over there and you know helping them put all these stores back together, I was like imagining how bad Katrina was. And they were actually still recuperating from Katrina. Like I actually passed uh, one site, it was uh, I was on a bridge. And there was a big like pile that trucks were putting, you know, like scraps and stuff from the debris from the store and, every and everything. And that pile was higher than the bridge that I was on. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, I've never realized how bad it was. There was people there for weeks without electricity, you know. When I, I left a week later and there was still people without electricity, people having to do like cold cuts and stuff for food because they didn't have a stove or a microwave or anything. Like, it just made me open my eyes. The moral that I'm trying to get to is things happen, but you don't realize how bad people have it until you actually put yourself in that situation and, you know, lend out a helping hand and go to help them. And that's what I learned from my trip away.